for you this evening. I really appreciate the opportunity, uh, especially since it's not on the agenda, to have a few moments just to go over some of the proposals for the downtown farm day. Again, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to come speak with you this evening to try to give some additional information and address some of the points of um, possible concern and talk about this wonderful community proposal, um, which really has three primary goals. First of all, some of you may be aware that Georgia is a targeted state because of our high rates of childhood obesity. And one of the things that we hope to do by showcasing our local farmers is to provide additional information when it comes to healthy eating and, our, and encouraging healthy eating with our children to solve the obesity issue in our state. Also, the economic development opportunity for our area of small farmers is another important goal of this proposed downtown farm day. And then lastly, and kind of selfishly, having an opportunity to promote our beautiful downtown district and all of the wonderful facilities that we have in our downtown district and the businesses as well. What this Downtown Farm Day event proposes to do is that twice a month, tagging on to existing events, first would be the Saturday after First Friday, and the Saturday after Art After Dark, from approximately 9 a.m. in the morning until 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And we will also post with that information from South Health District about healthy eating for everyone in our community that comes out and takes place and takes part in this event. You will see the map that the county manager passed out to you at work session. What we propose to do for your consideration this afternoon is to utilize the parking spaces around the historic courthouse. Staff will come out at approximately 7 a.m. that morning. We'll be one of them. We'll place our phones out in those parking spaces so we can reserve those spots for our area farmers. They'll come in, park in those spaces, and immediately set up on the public sidewalk adjacent to the parking spaces and then be able to show their wares. I believe some of the questions were, for example, you know, what will be sold? You see in the packet with the application information some of the um, requirements and, out and outline we have for vendors, artists and craft vendors, food vendors. Um, you will see we have also added into that your existing requirements that you use if for events that are actually mm -hmm. on the courthouse lawn. We do not propose for this to be on the lawn, but again on the public area around the courthouse. Um, as you dig further into the information, you will see when it comes to farmers and growers, we're looking for fresh fruit, vegetables, dairy products, um, no livestock, no live animals, uh, no pigs, no cows, no goats. Very clear about that. Um, when it comes to processors, again, it has to be people that do these things locally. We're talking about goats and soap, things that are, produ that are produced here locally by our area farmers and residents. 